Hey, hey, math people. Integration. Lots of different techniques, lots of fun. Uh, I have one, two, three, four integrals for you to try out. Uh, they all appear to be pretty much the same, but they all have pretty different approaches. Try them out. Go. Yeah, so you just tried them out. Let's do this. Uh, okay. Here, I threw this one on here kind of for fun. Um, know your algebra properties. I, it's got a, a deeper tail to it, if anything. Sometimes what you have in, on the inside can be simplified. Now, this is a trivial case, a basic case, with normal algebra. Uh, in this case, I know x to the 0th power is just 1. Uh, this is something I just can ignore. It's the integral of e to the x dx, and we know and love this as e to the x plus c. Done. Next one, it's the same thing, but what if I slap a power of 1 here? Uh, all of a sudden, this is pretty complicated. It's a BC topic in uh, the AP world. Uh, this requires what's known as integration by parts. Uh, so if you don't know integration by parts, then maybe, maybe you're a little out of water on this one. But the idea behind it is uh, it's like an anti-product rule of sorts, but for integrals. Uh, if we know that the integral of u dv is, is a thing, which is what we have, uh, this is going to be equal to u v minus the integral of v du. Uh, so the idea behind it is to select your u, select your v. Uh, your u should be uh, something that is kind of like a basic, uh, basic derivative, and your dv should be something that is uh, it's possible to come up with the antiderivative for. Um, so in this case, we would make this our u choice, and this our uh, this whole e to the x dx our dv. So here u is going to equal to x. Um, I'm going to take the derivative, du dx, to get 1. And why might I do that? It's to get the differential. Um, du is going to be equal to dx. This is nice. It's pretty. It's elegant. This is an ideal situation for biparts. Um, if I have dv considered now, uh, it's going to be e to the x uh, dx. And we're kind of going in like the reverse direction. Instead of going from like a relationship between u and x to the differential relationship, we're going from the differential relationship to a relationship between v, v and x. Uh, so I'm going to move this dx over. dv is dx. That's equal to e to the x. Uh, integrate both sides. I'm going to get v is equal to e to the x. Uh, so this is kind of like my box of scrap, scrap work, scratch work, whatever it is. Uh, and I'm just going to plug it into this formula now. So what is this integral equal to? Uh, okay, let's look. It's going to be equal to uh, u v. So u is x, v is e to the x. So it's actually what's in the inside minus the integral of uh, v du. So my v is e to the x. My du is dx, which is good because this is now a a doable integral. Uh, integral of e to the x we just did before, it's e to the x. So this is x e to the x minus e to the x plus c. Okay, yeah, so calc 2, by the way. Sorry, should have put a disclaimer or something like that. All right, this guy right here, this is a um, another another thing that looks as if it's the same as the ones before. But we have an x square up top instead of just uh, an x. So all of a sudden it goes from biparts to a u substitution, uh, a u sub. So that's a, that's a Calc 1 topic, yeah. So that's a little bit later on in the Calc 1 series. So A, B, it's maybe something you do second semester. Uh, here we get a U value of, um, well, all right. So the idea is we want to perform a substitution that would allow us to integrate this expression. Uh, it's a way of combating, uh, like it's like an anti-chain rule kind of thing. So typically your innermost expression is, is a good uh, choice for u, and in this case, we have x squared inside of the exponential, e. Uh, so I'm going to say u is equal to x squared. du dx is then equal to uh, 2x, and it's nice to get an expression for dx here, and you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to say that dx is equal to, well, if I scoot this over, scoot this over, it'll be du over 2x, and you'll see why that's relevant like right now. And again, this is kind of like scratch, scrap, scratch, scrap, work. All right, done with that. So 
All uh, right. I think I need that later. I keep throwing it on the ground. Uh, so what is this integral equal to? So th again, this in blue, it's kind of like scrap work. Uh, and what is this equal to? Well, it's still the integral. And well, I really wanted that blue. This x is still chilling here. I, this e is still chilling here. But what is x squared equal to? Uh, well, based on my substitution I'm about to perform, it's equal to u. And then likewise, what is this dx equal to? Well, because of this substitution is du over 2x. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Because what is this going to allow us to see that these x's cancel? Cancel. Hmm. Cancel. And I'm, yeah, I'm left with the integral of e to the u du. Hey, I know that. Uh, that would be uh, e to the u plus c. Uh, but I have to replug back in my u value. That would be, oh, sorry, one thing I forgot though, this divide by 2. So I guess I can plug kit out, put it on the outside here. So there we are. This divide by 2 is still there. And very lastly, we've got to plug in our u value of x squared. So we have 1 half e to the x squared plus c. Okay, uh, what about for the last piece here? So can we see that? Yeah, we can. Uh, the integral of x squared e to the x dx. Uh, it behaves super mega similarly to this guy right here. It, it is a biparts. However, because it's squared, it's a bipart within a biparts, which is super fun. Uh, it actually involves what's called tabular method, if you're familiar. Uh, or as some of my students call it, because of black pen, red pen, the die method, di. Uh, oh, I want to do die method here. Okay, that just sounds... Uh, sounds a little strange to me, but uh, either way, works with me. So tabular, die method, whatever. Um, the way that that works, so blue is scratch work. Uh, we create like a, a differentiation column and an integral column, and we put this plus, minus, plus, minus on the outside. Um, so by the way, while this is a concept check, uh, it's not meant to focus on the concepts of these... Um, integration techniques. It's, it's meant to focus on like the subtle differences between these statements. So FYI, if you kind of don't know how to do these processes, you should check out some other videos uh, to do that. So in this case, um, because the uh, kind of way that an, uh, biparts within a biparts behaves, the signs will kind of alternate if you continue to do another biparts because of this minus here. Uh, so that's why you see alter alternating signs here. Um, typically, you just want to put in your, your D column what would have been your U and to just kind of keep taking derivatives until it uh, kind of depletes and goes to zero. And with the integral co column, that's kind of like your DV side. So here this would be E to the X. Uh, okay, so derivative is 2X, derivative is 2, derivative is zero. It's depleted. Uh, and then over here, integral is E to the X, integral is E to the X, integral is E to the X. It's an easy choice for that. So finishing this off, how do I kind of write my answer off of this? Remember, this is scratch work and I keep doing that. So I want to kind of box this as like, all right, this is separate, separate work. Uh, what is this integral then equal to? Uh, well, it's going to be equal to these kind of diagonal columns of sorts. This is my first term, this is my second, this is my third, and that's the problem. Don't forget your plus c. So in this case, it'll be x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x. Um, you can see the whole board, yeah? Yeah, you can. And then lastly, plus 2 e to the x. Don't forget your plus c. I'm off the screen, but I'm here. All three, all four of these kind of look the same. They all require different techniques. Is an integration fun? All right, please continue to math on. I'll do the same. I'll see you in the next video.